of the exercises I like to start rehearsals with when we're still fairly virgin with the text and something which gets the whole company sitting on the edge of their seats trying to play along is predictive text. You'll see what it is when Peter Fernandez kicks off Charlie's aunt. I can't get into the... Cam? Motion. Vein. I don't know what to... Patrick. Right. Say. I don't know how to begin. I wish to goodness I had spoken to her at the... Claire. The tea. The dance the other evening, when she told me they were all going away for the... Serena. Semester. Summer. Instead, I've gone and left everything to the very last... Mike? Moment? Minute. And now I'm regularly... Wrong. Stuck. Nonplussed. By George, I know what I'll do. I'll make an... Neil. Attempt. An exercise of it. I'll write it out a dozen different ways, and I'll send the one I think looks... Patrick. Most promising. The best. So, come on, Jack. Here we are. In love with the... Marla. Smartest. The dearest girl on earth. Tackle her like a... Claire. Man. A man, and tell her so. Or they'll be off north, and you'll have gone down, and have lost your chance. Cam. Forever. Forever. Nice, well done. There you go. It's, quite, it's rather pleasing when we get the right mm -hmm. word, isn't it? That sense of, um, oh, I'm glad that dropped into my head. So the note I often give at this point, as you'll remember, is don't just take the offer as being a guess that may or may not be right. Take it as a real suggestion of what you might say. So that in your mind, as it were, uh, especially Kitty Badun uh, playing her own agenda very strongly, it might occur to you to say that she's the smartest girl. <laughs> At the last moment you decide, dearest is the word I'm looking for. <laughs> so that's fun. Good, anything else to report? It creates it's a great way, sorry, a few ways to the line, I find. So uh, I, I get more secure with that line because uh, I, I've considered other options and I've chosen, a, I've chosen a word, like you said. Cool, Patrick. Yeah, and it, it gives Peter uh, a chance to weigh the right word and then pick it when, uh, when he decides how best to express his thought. Mm. Nice. It's incredibly helpful, especially with uh, addressing the audience, because it, 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 I am actually asking the audience for something in this exercise. So mm. it helps when later on, I'm not playing that, uh, the, the game, uh, but I'm still asking something of the audience. Mm. Claire. It's also, it's especially enjoyable for the participants if it's not your, if it's not your line to be, um, to be guessing what the, the next line will be. You feel as if you're part of, even if it's a scene you're not in, you're part of it, you're part of understanding the play as a whole. So I always feel like it's, I un always understand everything about the play, not just what I'm doing in the play. Nice, good. Thank you chaps, 